What's going on guys? Shadow Fox 562 here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite psychic tuner, um, Uki Usagi, or as we know it in the TCG, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. And we're basically trying to decide if it's good or not. So this little card is a light psychic tuner, effect monster, level 3, zero attack over 1800 defense. Uh, and its effect reads, during either player's turn, when a monster on the field activates its effect, or when a spell or a trap card that is already face-up on the field activates its effect, you can send this card from your hand or side of the field to the graveyard, destroy that card on the field. You can only use the effect of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit once per turn. Alright, so at face value, it's like, okay, cool. You can It's like a hand trap, you can send it to the grave to destroy something. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't negate the card's effect, so um, it's not as devastating as it could be um but i think it is for a reason they generally make limitations and restrictions on cards for a reason so let's talk about what it's good against okay obviously it's good against monsters that are already faceable on the field activating their effects so el shadal construct kills it star seraphs kill them satara knights kill them quilfort scout lose one turn and that's pretty much it in the meta right now um, that you would really want to destroy. Um, because you wouldn't want to destroy things like Dante. Um, now, you could destroy cards like Trishula, but uh, again, it won't negate their effects, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the cons about this card is it is bad against almost every current topping deck right now. Um, in Satellar Knights... They're still going to get their search off, or they're still going to get their special summon. Um, they're still going to do everything they need to do. Burning Abyss, they're still going to get their mill, and they're still going to get that card from their graveyard to the hand because of Dante. And let's be honest, it's not going to stop Necroz. There are a bunch of better cards out there that can stop Necroz. Um, what people are failing to realize is this card may not be the best card right now, but is going to be really good in the future. For instance, Dragon Knights, or Draco Knights. Uh, they're an archetype that's coming out, I believe... No, it's, it's one set from now. It's coming out in Clash of Rebellion. And um, it has a Synchro Monster, and it's, it's a Pendulum archetype. So, of course, you're going to want to blow up their Pendulum scale. But um, they have a Synchro Monster, um, and it's, a, it's effect is a Scrap Dragon. So, you can blow that up, and you'll be okay. Um, Ignites, they're another Pendulum deck. You can blow up their Pendulum scale. And then there's this card called Chicken Race coming out. Chicken Race has this really, really stupid OTK um, that it does with Magical, or uh, FTK, really, that does with uh, Royal Magical Library, uh, Life Equalizer, and Magical Explosion. And it has an 88% chance of killing you on the first turn right after your draw. Um, honestly, I would want Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit in my hand to blow up that Royal Magical Library. Um, and I think you would too. I mean, it's, it's a retarded deck and who knows if Konami will hit it before it even comes out, but hopefully they will and we'll be spared that abomination of a format. Um, let's talk about Lose One Turn. Lose One Turn is going to be an amazing card. And in fact, I think it's even going to be a really good card coming up in this next YCS. It is a broken card. Its design is just stupid, but once again, since it is a trigger, a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit stop it and kill it. That is very important. Um, I could see this being teched in some decks, but I think it will be very good in the future. Um, so if the price drops anymore, I would advise picking some up. It goes for about 40 to $45 right now. Um, I could see it going down to about 30 before it, like that's going to be its bottom. And then, uh, I think it'll start going up again because of new packs and, uh, new support for things and new archetypes coming out. Uh, and just really the meta flipping. So... Is this card good right now? It's mediocre right now. Will it be good in the future? I think it'll be a very good card in the future. Remember what happened to all of the hand traps that have come out. Well, really the main two. Maxi was like $15 when it... Well, it was a lot more when it came out, but it dropped to $15. And then this guy named Billy Break mained them, won with them, and it jumped to $60. 
Effect Veiler dropped all the way to $10. This guy mained him. It jumped to $30. do not fall into the same trap over and over again. History repeats itself, especially in this game. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit is a good hand trap, and it is searchable with e -Telly, and it is a tuner. It is going to get expensive. So is it good right now? No. Is it going to be good? I believe so. Also, if you would like to win a free pack, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. And if you would like to give me a like and subscribe to show your support, that would be awesome too. Until next time, guys, this is ShadowFox4562 signing out. Peace.